Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky. If you don't already know, now you know. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Um, I'm really hoping my camera doesn't die in the middle of this video because I like just put it on the charge like 30 minutes ago, so it's not very charged. Also, I got a strawberry plant at Target. Anyways, I just realized that I have to upload a video tomorrow. So I've got to film and upload this before tomorrow. I just got back from the beach. I went to Aeropostale, like the outlets there, and I went to Aeropostale, got a bunch of stuff. So I will show you guys that, but first I need to run to Target because there's some stuff that I need to get because tonight is a self-care night. I need to tan because I am pale and I need to wash my hair, the chlorine, the salt water, ew, gross. The sand is in my hair, so I need to wash my hair with actual good stuff. So there's just a bunch of stuff that I need to do. Yeah, but let's go to Target first. That's like step one of this, so. Okay, personally, I think we should go into TJ Maxx first. I My sister's car is making some weird noises. I don't really like this. I left TJ Maxx empty handed because there was nothing that I wanted there. We're going to Target though. <laughs> Target. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I just got these really cheapy blades because so I got these. I got this deep cleansing pink clay mud mask and this shaving gel, which I usually get the EOS one. The shaving gel kind of makes me break out, but I'm thinking that it'll be fine because I'm going to really like make sure I wash it off because I have to tan tonight. So and now it's time to try to get out of this parking lot. TJ Maxx was freaking packed, which who would have thought it would be packed on a freaking Friday night? Not me, that's for sure. But yeah, it was packed. Target was also packed and people just love to stare when you have a camera out. My town, people don't film much, which is honestly so weird to me because I feel like my town would be the town of all to just film at. One of my friends does YouTube too. But we did cheer together um, and I don't know if we did cheer together in high school, but I know we did cheer together in middle school. But yeah, she's amazing. I love her. But I freaking love doing YouTube. Like this is so, like YouTube is genuinely so much fun for me. Like obviously like it's a lot of work to have to edit and keep up with all of that stuff. But other than that, it's so much fun. Like I have fun just like, feeling like I'm talking to somebody throughout the day and then it helps me be productive to get outside and to do something with my life and yeah and it's nice and it's a nice little outlet for me to just like talk without having a face to it you know personally that's my opinion I think that you should just do YouTube if you're thinking about doing YouTube just do it it's my friend Tally which Tally I know you're freaking watching this video and I love you so much she texts me whenever I upload a video and she's like Becca uploaded a video gotta watch it and she like sends me like sentences about what's going on she's like oh my gosh there was a tornado warning in California I can't believe you're allergic to dogs like little things like that if you haven't watched my last video I'm gonna shamelessly plug go watch it it's a really good video I actually really like the way that I edit that video um, I did it a little bit differently than what I normally do and I really like it so it'll be in the info card I have been stalling taking a shower for so long that it is literally dark outside. I'm gonna get like up and figure out what I'm gonna wear to sleep in and get all my stuff and put it in the bathroom and then I'm gonna hop in the shower which I was gonna take a bath but I personally am not a fan of baths so I'd rather just take a shower so I don't have to shower afterwards anyways. So yeah. <laughs> to keep it from dripping all over the floor but i just want to show you guys the shampoo and conditioner and hair mask that i use so this is the shampoo that i use and um, i got it from tj maxx it's an apple cider vinegar rinse the hair mask that i use is this raw sugar healing powder powder hair mask 
And then the conditioner that I use is just this collagen plump um, one that's paraben, sulfate free, all that good stuff. I got this at Target. And then I still just use my oat cleansing balm from Angelus and champagne toast for body wash. So now I'm gonna go to my room so I can do my face mask and get dressed, so. I don't think I got any of that, but pretty much I'm just tanning right now. Um, I use the B Tan Clear Tan Gel and I absolutely love it. It's the best thing ever. I just put one pump on this tanologist mist and I just rub it all over. So I will see you guys once this is done. Okay, so I just finished tanning and I completely forgot that I was doing a face mask, so I definitely put tanner on my face. So we're going to hope the tan doesn't look terrible tomorrow, but we still are going to do the face mask. Also, I got dressed into this uh, BB shirt, sweater, whatever, it's super loose. And then my mother's Mickey Mouse pajamas because I don't want it to like mess with my tan. I really hope this doesn't like destroy my tan. It, I Hopefully it just like doesn't tan my face at all if I do this but I guess we'll find out. I don't know if you already saw but this is the face mask that I'm going to be using. I'm also going to put on my little headband. My skin is glowing though I'll be real. Back for this. Oh it is cold. Okay face mask is on. You cannot really tell. You can't really tell but I'm going to keep this on until it like dries. Okay, I just washed off my face mask and I put on some moisturizer. My skin looks super glowy. So I'm just gonna put my hair back in a braid. Okay, that is my hair braided. Um, honestly, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna sit here and chillax on my phone for a little bit. I have some schoolwork to do, but I kinda don't want to. Also, let me know if you have any recommendations for a leave-in conditioner. I don't like the cream leave-in conditioners. Personally, I like the sprays better. But I'm using the Heritage one right now, and I don't like it because the fragrance in it is really, really strong, and that cannot be good for my hair. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Aeropostale. One second. I already put them all on hangers and stuff. This is all from Aeropostale. I literally still have the bag. These are the outlets, so the stuff was so much cheaper. This shirt was like six bucks. It's so cute. It's got the little, like, lettuce trim on it. I love it. But the next thing that I got is just this sweater that I'm going to wear off my shoulder with a bathing suit. Um, this was also like six dollars because it was like 75 percent off or something and then the next shirt that i got is just this black long sleeve with the lettuce trimming around it and on the sleeves and i absolutely love it i totally forgot that i got a whole nother shirt and i didn't show you guys so this is me filming on my iphone i believe i didn't grab this because this is honestly my favorite one but this is the other shirt that i got um it's got this like texture on it where you can kind of see through it i don't know if you can tell but you can kind of see through it um it was originally $24 and I got this shirt for 12 because this one was 50 50% off so it's a really good deal um it's got the lettuce trimming that the rest of them do um if you didn't notice on the last few clips I tried to incorporate like what they look like on so that you guys could just see them so yeah and then the final thing that I got was just these Aeropostale wide leg pants that I'm going to be wearing to the rodeos and stuff these are the back of them. They're just a dark wash. These are size four, which I'm usually a size six, but I think I, I've been losing some weight. So they're the high rise, super wide leg in case if you want them. But now I'm gonna just hang out and sit on my phone for a little bit. The time right now is 9 10 and honestly i am so tired and sleep deprived so i think i'm gonna head to bed i'm actually gonna end out this video tomorrow morning just to show you guys what my tan looks like in the morning um and show you guys how it developed i hope it developed good but i did like spill water on me so probably not gonna look the best but i guess we will see i will see you guys in the morning love you guys peace i almost forgot to show you guys my tan obviously you can see a little bit of a difference but my neck tanned really, really well. Um, it's a super subtle tan. Um, I am sitting directly in the sunlight, so that kind of changes a little bit the way it looks. I am wearing jeans, but you can definitely see that where the tan is on my stomach. You can see how nice the tan looks. Um, so, yeah. Um, you can definitely see, though, where I spilt water on myself because it didn't develop very well. But the rest of my arm developed just fine, so...
I also didn't end out this video, so I'm gonna do that now. Of course, this is on my iPhone, so I'm really sorry. The quality's probably not the best, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and hit the bell for notifications whenever I upload. This video was pretty last minute just because I forgot that I needed to upload a video, so I'm sorry that this video is a little bit late. Um, maybe I did end up getting it up on Saturday, but I'm sure it's Sunday morning when this gets up. So, yeah. Don't forget to watch my last video if you haven't already. All of my social medias will be link linked in the description box below. So definitely go check those out. My TikTok, my Instagram, all that good old stuff. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Love you guys so much. Bye. Love ya. The sun's in my eyes. Mm -hmm.